Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have polishes to share with you from Jen and Berries. It is their Food Fight Collection. Um, it's releasing on Black Friday, so November 24th. Yeah, <laughs> November 24th. And the quad was uh, is going to be um, just $45 or $12.50 each through Cyber Monday. So you'll still get a discounted price through Cyber Monday. Um, you're not seeing my face this time around. Um, it is Thanksgiving today. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm trying to get out as many videos and content and swatches as I can so that you all can make your wish lists and decide what you would like to purchase. This pod is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Disclaimer, I am obsessed. Obsessed is probably not even the word. These polishes are so freaking gorgeous. But enough of that i want you to see for yourself so let's get into these swatches first up we have the end is pie and this is in no particular order because i never really find a rhyme or rhythm to put my polishes <laughs> in order like i probably should i do a better job when i do polish pickup but not for certain collections Anyways, this one is described as a lavender curly base with purple pink gold shifty shimmer, red orange shifty iridescent flakes, and violet red multi-chrome flakes. This one, when I first saw it, <clears throat> excuse me, in the bottle, I was like, oh, you know, it's pretty, but it's probably not for me because I'm not really big into like lighter nudish types of shades. But as soon as I swatched it, I put two coats, I reached full opacity. I was very, very happy. It is, I know it's described as a lavender base, but it gives me like very dusty vibes, which I love my dusty muted types of shades um, if I'm going for like a nudish color. The shift is beautiful. I love the purple pink gold shift in this. It's not very, very prominent, but it's just enough. But I think it goes well. Like you have your muted, you know, dainty color and the shift is there, but it's not like banging your face. But I think it, it works out perfectly for this polish. The flakies, in my opinion, are very different than other types of flakies that i've seen at least like what i've seen in like these types of mixtures of polishes um i don't know it just looks different to me but i i like that i appreciate different um i love the like shredded look of the flakies like the sparseness um i usually like my flakies a little more like packed and dense but this is just like spaced out enough for me I think it works out beautifully. The shifts are so rich and royal, still delicate. Um, it's it's really a very, very pretty polish. Something that I'd wear like in the spring time for sure. Um, I think long or short nails, two to three coats, is just gonna depend on your preference. So pictured are two coats of the end is pie with a glossy top coat. Next up is Smack and Cheese, and this one is described as a cheesy golden crowley with a subtle glow shimmer, orange and gold shifting iridescent flakes, and a sprinkle of black pepper, or actually not black pepper, flakes. That's a little joke in the description. Because <laughs> you know some people like um, black pepper in their mac and cheese. <laughs> I, I'm having too much fun with this. Um, this is such a beautiful shade. Yellows are very, very, very tricky like tricky when it comes to building up coverage which two coats you can see here was just perfection and then tricky in a sense where like certain yellows just don't look right on certain skin tones or on me but this one was very very pretty it's definitely more on the goldeny side on the I, I think i guess maybe it's i don't know if i'd call it a warm shade or even a cool shade i feel like it's in between like a neutral because it really looks great on my skin tone it is so glittery and sparkly i think it's so pretty and the i'm just i keep laughing about the black flaky part <laughs> like the um the sparse black flakies in here just give it a little bit something extra right it's like wait a minute is it supposed to be in there i think so because it's on you know most of the nails which i like it's it's different and nowadays i'm always looking for different especially because i have such a large collection um, and if you have a lot of polishes as well i know that you're always going to be looking for something different i think this yellow is going to look amazing on any skin tone whether or not you're darker or lighter than me it's really going to pop because i think it's more leaning like neutral in my opinion anyways um and like it's it's just so glimmery and sparkly i think it's very very pretty pictured are two coats of smack and cheese with a glossy top coat 
Here we have Prime Ribbing, and this one is described as a blackened leather base with intense pink gold shifty shimmer and soft in a soft mix of holographic micro flakies. The names like uh, the more I go, the more like hilarious the names are. I, I honestly think like the food names with these polishes are just spot on. Like I see the food in 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 the inspiration, which is good like that's amazing that 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 can be done like great job jenny on these polishes this one built up beautifully in just two coats um i think long or short nails two coats is going to be fine for you this one is so shifty i love it now if you like those swampyish yucky kind of green colors you're really really gonna like this one because it has that beautiful shiftiness um that gold shiftiness in there but it like leans towards a greener greener end as well and i think it's just because all the colors are mixing together don't get me wrong you definitely see that beautiful intense pink gold shiftiness um but i also see some green and i know you can see it as well and that's not a bad thing i personally love it i think it's very pretty and of course you know it has a sprinkling of holographic micro flakies which gives it that little extra sparkle and i love my holographic flakies so of course i'm going to love that little addition to the polish as well pictured are two coats of prime ribbing with a glossy top coat and the last polish in the quad is bruise is sprouts bruce is sprouts <laughs> um, this one is described as a healthy green base with intense red orange gold green shifting shimmer and a soft mix of holographic micro flakies again i got beautiful perfect coverage in two coats long or short nails just going to depend on your preference um on what not longer short nails longer nails it's going to depend on your preference on what you um, would like to see built up on your nails this one is so stunning the shifts i'm not even doing much here and you can see how shifty it is i love that i love doing the bare minimum and the shifts just like peek through again if you love those like darker green swampyish types of shades i think this is going to be one that you're going to love as well i personally love those types of colors um it's so intense like the shift is so intense and i mean it does say it in the description it has an intense shifty shimmer I definitely see orange, I definitely see gold, and I definitely see green. So everything that's described in there. And the beautiful shimmer and the soft holographic mix in here just gives it that little sparkle. So you have this like dark shade, but then you have this beautiful sprinkling of holographic flakies, which adds in some beautiful like daintiness to like this darker, more swampier, greenish kind of shade, if that makes sense. But it's very, very pretty. I love it pictured are two coats of bruce is sprouts with a glossy top coat all right that is all that i have to share with you today this beautiful beautiful quad is going to be releasing on black friday november 24th i will leave all the information pricing time that the shop is opening all of that in the description box below um Oh, I can't pick a favorite guys i really really enjoyed all of these but okay okay if i had to hunker down because i'm looking at these beautiful photos right now if i had to hunker down i think i'm going to pick bruce's sprouts i think that one was a real standout for me i absolutely love the intensity of the shifts i love the sprinkling of the holographic flakies in there um and it's definitely my type of shade but honestly they're all so gorgeous they really are so i'm going to enable you to pick up the quad because i think you you're not going to regret it the formula is amazing the colors are beautiful they give you a beautiful payout um and if you haven't tried Jen and Berries, this is the perfect time to give it a shot, right? Um, let me know if you plan on picking up any of these polishes, what you have on your Black Friday wish list, because I have a couple things too. So I'd love to share ideas and, and know what you're planning on picking up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate.